Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Huang Shao campaign. We pick it up for episode 12 from turn 55 in the summer season of 201. So last episode we left off uh, with most of our armies uh, ready to uh, be deployed, about to be in another fight. We're gonna move this army to here and then ambush mode it. So we can reinforce the city if they siege and not be, uh, st with basically if we're outside the city when they siege, we can still spend the end turn replenishing. Uh, same here, we're waiting for them to make a first move. I don't think they have tribuches, so they can't take cities right away, so that's good. We have a few level up here, we'll take another research rate. And then we have a few more level up here. And we also have all of um, He Yi's faction's uh, characters as well added into our faction. So there's definitely lots to do here. Uh, we want to work up towards Flaming Shot. I mean, it's the same route. Both of these are very useful. This route's a little bit better. We want every one here, and then we just want this one. Okay, and He Yi himself is now in our faction, level 5. He's one eye now, poor guy. Let's see, He Man is also one eyed. What happened to you guys? Scarred. Ah, burned officer. Okay, I know what to do with him. Okay, he's the first one. Alright, we're going to add him to our Burned Officer collection here. First, I think we're just going to move them to maybe here. Recruit. Oh, we don't have enough money. Right, because we just picked up everyone. We want to recruit him into that army. Maybe we can save a little bit of money. We're going to pick up this last one for one turn. Uh, these should become one turn once we go to 500. We're very close. Mm, can we cancel some buildings? Uh, we're not very we're not actually building very much, so I guess nothing really to cancel. Alright, this is the old ambush trick. Hopefully they fall for it. Alright, all our armies are ambushed and in position for a fight. Let's just see them fall into our traps. Let's go. Okay, they picked up the fight with just the two unit. They have night battle, so they stopped reinforcements. This is very, very strong. Uh, we're just going to retreat here, hopefully behind our main army, and save ourselves. Alright, Donghai here is lost. Uh, we can't defend this against this army. Um, I might be able to cheese out a victory, now that I think about it. We have cavalry, we can run them around. I think it's worth a try. If we can pull this off, it'd be truly he heroic. Let's go for it. All right, we loaded up in here on our feeble attempt at defeating Sun Tzu's army. Okay, they split their forces. This is the right move to do when you're so overwhelmingly powerful. Now we can't really loop them because they're not loopable because they covered all your entrances. Uh, earlier we were saying how it was dumb for the AI to split up. That's because they were weaker than us or equal strength. Then we can actually fight them. In this case, we can't even focus down any one of these. This army is actually might be the weakest one here. This one's the strongest in terms of range abilities. Both of these have two archers. This one only has one. Uh, I prefer to run outside, but then we're going to get killed. In this case, we're just going to have to try to inflict the maximum amount of damage on them. 
as our win condition. Right, do the most damage. Maybe something like this. We just fire at them at the gate. These two units can be over here because we're going to need them on melee duty immediately turn around and fight them. We're going to try to hold this point here and here. We're going to give up the whole right side. We're going to run this army out, hopefully to attract some attention. All right, that's the plan. Let's go. All right, focus down on this group right here. Come on, listen to me. Fire at this group. Not the archers. All right, look at us, look at us. Don't walk into our tower. Come, look at us. Don't you want to chase us? Oh, poor, poor guys. All right, shoot at us, that's fine. Come chase us, chase us. Okay, we stopped two groups. Maybe we can stop a third. Don't go inside. Don't go inside. Okay. Okay. We stop three groups. That's good enough. Loop around. You gotta not get caught up. Come on. Alright, nice. Alright, here they come. Don't run. Stand and fight. All right, there we go. Hold this door. Uh, much better if we don't fight. All right, flank charge the spear units. We just got leave the spear alone. We're coming. Alright, they can't get in. Go around. Alright. They're dead. Yep, we lost. But let's just try to do as much damage as we can. They probably can rally back. This is the captain after all. Oh, actually, Huang Guy's going after them. Never mind. Can we beat them at least? No? Nah, this is it then. They recovered. Let's get some arrow shots into them. It's gonna do some damage. Okay. We beat them back. Swords. Charge. Charge back. Yeah, we're done. This group isn't going to get through there. And we're going to lose our morale because we're going to get outnumbered very soon. If we capture a point, it might give us a little bonus morale for guarding a victory point. Yep. Buy us a little bit of time, but the outnumber ratio is going to keep going up. And then we're going to lose after that gets to a certain point. Alright, we're going to stay here to not get routed. Basically, if the morale is a big issue, you want to stand at a victory point. 
I'm gonna... Yeah, but it's too late. Massive outnumbering. Alright. I think it's respectable we killed more men than ourselves. But we definitely lost here. Gongdu once again is asking us for help. Um, he's willing to pay us. Which I'm very happy to get paid. I want some of the payment in form of armor so we can use it for negotiation later. But that armor might be just too good. Actually, no. This is decent. We'll take this. Alrighty. We lost the fishing port. We joined the war. We got another reform. We got another Anzuri item. Alright, we got a nice horse as well. Okay, we gotta put these items on people. And we also have to do some fighting this turn. Things are heating up over here. Let's see. We want to go this route over here. Alright, no more one turn reforms. These are still two. These are three, four, five. We might get one of these actually. Extra ammo would help. Yo Xia. Okay. Let me think, let me think. Right now we're getting siege from all side. Extra morale would be good. Is there anything game changing over here? Crossbow? I don't think that would be game changing. Plus 10% from all sources is very nice. Plus all the trade ports and harbor buildings that we have. Extra 5% campaign movement range is also nice. Two more administrators. I don't think I have that many good commanderies for that. Mm, character experience is also nice. A lot of things I want. I think we'll get this one. Extra income. Okay. Now let's get some of the fighting done. We can give these guys better horses. He can have more cunning. He can have more instinct. Okay. Their weapons are all top of the line. Yep. So this army is going to crush them. They made the mistake of walking between us. So now the city garrison is going to be able to help, hopefully. Even if it doesn't help, we can wipe them out. Yeah, I don't think we're within range. They don't think we can win this? I'm pretty sure we can win this. Alright, let's go. Alrighty. Nicely lit battlefield for a night battle. They have quite an army. Warrior of Yeah. Crossbow men. And some stubborn cavalries on the right side. So we gotta take note of that. We don't have flaming shot, which is a big disadvantage. 12 shots on these, not that bad. We only have normal archers this time. So it's true, this army is not as good as the one we just had. But I think we can still win this. Alright, we'll cover the left flank with the swordmen, right flank with the spear, and then the right flank with the spear as well. He will stay with the charge group. He has a bow on him. No, no, he doesn't. I just selected a bow by accident. Okay. She doesn't have healing. She will just stand in the back. He has knowledge of the spirit, so there's a morale bonus if he stays here. Okay. We'll stay on the defensive. No dueling this time. 
All right. They're moving their cavalry to the left. Very sneaky. We'll move you over here just in case we need you. Alright, let's get some manual shot in here. Twenty-three guys. Well, counter range isn't gonna do much to rocks hitting you. Fifty-eight on one guy already. Nice. Before they even officially entered our range. Okay, already killed over a hundred of them. Yeah, they're really shifting their cavalry to the left side. Alright, stop firing for a little bit. 200 men down. A lot of these warriors are yeah, down. Cavalry is totally shifting to the left. So this is sneaky maneuvering by the AI. Well, we can two can play at that game. Charge resistance. Alright, let's see. Where is a nice cluster to fire at? We can actually soften the impact of this cavalry charge with one nice hit here. Killed some. Oh, Alright, yeah. Definitely weaken their cavalry a little bit. They're putting their range unit in the front, which is an interesting tactic. Still six shots left. These spear guards need to get hit too. But they're not really clustered, so we're going to wait a little bit on that. Alright, let's see. Swordsman, spear guard. We'll hit here. Archers will ignore. I need to kill these. We're well defended against cavalry. We even have a backup force here. All right, they're clustering here. And then let's get a shot on these guys as soon as they pop out on this side. Okay, cavalry isn't going to be an issue. All right, that's a lot of spear units right here. Four shots, three shots. Alright, we'll just try to hammer these guys right now. Cavalry's not an issue anymore. Come on, let's get a hit. Fire. There we go. Alright, their cavalry's really sneaky. Stop their charge. Alright. 
Let's hit the crossbow units. Alright, we're good. Where's our... There we go. Uh, we'll just knock out the militia with our morale splash. Actually, spear guards play better. Oh, they already routed. Okay, then we'll route a general with the morale. And then we'll all chase him and kill him. He needs to come back. He's a big morale bonus. Alright, join them. Alright, just stay on top of the cavalry. We're good there. We can kill him. Nice. There we go. Alright, charge at him. Sword units charge. One each. We'll save the cavalry, uh, the archers for the next fight. It's not over in the north yet. Alright, nice. Alright, don't route. Fight us, crossbowmen. Don't route. We want to kill you guys. Oh, he healed. His wife? Family? Oath sword? What is it? F just a friend. Come on, it's just a friend. Not a big heal. We can disorient him so he can't run. And then we'll all kill him. Perfect. We don't have to worry about that. They're all after the cavalry. This is the bad thing about not having a cavalry in this armor. Then we can't really chase down units. Oh, we killed him. Alright, we'll take the win. We won't chase. We'll save the rest of their uh, unit for another fight. Hopefully to recruit another character. Alright, not a bad fight. Defensive fights we can win. I guess we were just too eager. With our offensive maneuvering into Hane. Yeah, it was nice to leave them on the battlefield. We didn't get any new recruits. I, I wonder if there's like a limit, right? Once you hit 60 characters or something, they stop giving you uh, one free recruit after every fight. But anyways, we can get a second fight out of it. This one we just delegate. Actually... Oh, we don't have the retinue help? I mean, then I guess we do night battle. I think the... Yeah, I don't know why we didn't get the retinue to help. We're right outside. Alright, that's clean. Got us a level up a bit closer to resourcefulness. Uh, we don't want this one. We should have gone this way. Get yeah, but night battle is helpful. Yeah, they're all helpful. We're two away. It'll be level 7 before we get... Mm. A little tough in terms of the placement of skills. All right, we'll be right outside of the city again. We'll try to go back into ambush, I guess. Over here, strange maneuvering. They sieged, and then they canceled the siege, and then they walked up. I mean, this army's gone.
Alright, it's a lot of cash. Nice level up. Uh, no new characters, though. That's three battles without giving us a new character. Hmm, what do we want here? We want melee damage and retinue replenishment. Okay. That's good. Go back to ambush mode. Let's talk to Yuan Shu. Let's see if our boy wants peace. Nope. It went farther, but he still doesn't want peace. That's fine. We're not going to buy it. If he wants to fight, he can fight. All right. That army went into ambush mode? Cao Cao's army? Very interesting. We'll hide here, assuming we're in the same county. Yes, we are. Well, stay in ambush mode. It's 80%. We did our best here. Now we just have to wipe them out, which should be easy. Uh, do I want to fight this? Would I do better? Oh my god, they got Defender of the Earth already. What the heck? Uh, we will do better if we fight this, because I can manually aim the trebuchets. But I don't think it's going to be that exciting of a fight. Uh, we'll fight it. Alrighty, loaded up into this small fight. We're just going to try to minimize our casualties as Sun Tzu still looms large. Uh, we're going to just try to decrease their morale as fast as possible considering the fact that we are doing night battle. So their morale starts out lower. And she can actually duel if she wants. She has recovery. These two will hold in the back. And you want a piece of us? Ooh, they're stronger than us. Never mind. We don't want a piece of them. Alright, this just be the trebuchet show. How many shots do we have? 12? Okay, that's plenty. These defender of the earth. My god. She can still charge out and do some fighting. Just won't let her duel and lose. Alright, killed four. Well, I killed 17 people with that extended range shot. Yeah, just as they're entering our range, we killed over 60 of them. Alright, now we want to focus on the swords unit. Gotta kill those. Alright, just here to kill the Defender of Earth. I don't want them to use their bomb arrows on our formations. Well, you should have ran to the spear units. Running to the sword doesn't do anything. Alright, this is the stronger group here. Where do you think you're going? Oh, we can win against him. Let's do it. Alright, it's your job. We have enough archers, I'm not worried about anyone getting close. Just trying to kill as many people as possible when they're far away. Nobody moves. Just 
Still seven of them left. Six. All right, we should just leave the rest of them alone. I don't want to take too much damage. She's about to win. Lady Wu has what? Imperial Seal. Oh. She has Sun Jian's old, old items. I see, I see. Okay, if we win this fight and get the Imperial Seal, that would be amazing. Alright, we'll hack her. She has a better weapon, but... Alright, we're gonna come out. We're gonna charge. Let's see, Spear Guards play the strongest unit. We're gonna not get... We're not gonna, we're not gonna lose our mount. Get on the horse. We're just gonna enter combat with them. And then use this to demoralize them. And then leave. And help over here, because he's about to die. Come help. Leave him alone. Fight us. Alright, we're doing fine here. We just gotta kill her. At least he didn't die. That would have been a big loss. Nice. You can chase that group. We can kill that group. Actually, they'll die to the archers. Had to push them back. Alright. You guys still with arrows. Fire that group. Alright, the rest of this is just mop up. We'll cut it till the end. Clearly we have won. Alrighty. I think we fought that cleaner than the delegate fight. Now we just have Sun Tzu's army to worry about. We didn't get the seal. Which is a little sad. We did get a few level ups, so that's not bad. Yep, extra range, extra posting, and fire arrows, definitely good. Over here, we can pick up night battle. He already has it, so there's no rush, I guess. Recovery, yes, we need that one. He needs that one. So our plan is to do the same thing. Just hide in open, right next to the city. Level up the forge, very important. We have a lot of money because we won a lot of fights. And now we just need to... Alright, there's a Tal Tal army somewhere in here. I think we're doing well. We repelled pretty much every invasive force. Alright, let's level up the forge. Alright, I have a bunch of money again. We could invest in upgrading these guys to Archery Masters again. I don't know if we should go that route. Hmm, not sure. Not sure if that's the smart play here. We could switch this entire army to Cavalry. That is a legit play. Uh, because of the way... Uh, she's going to be set up with her skills she's going to be more heavy on melee damage and speed so if that's the case we could switch a few to these guys white wave horsemen who are actually really good let's do that 
let's do four cav two archers for fire arrows and i think it's pretty good for that army this army is not very strong and we're going to be facing Sun Tzu and Huang Gai. A little worried about this army, but I don't know if... I don't think... So I don't think um, Archery Master is going to make a difference here. I think what's probably going to happen is we're going to try to wipe out Cao Cao's army quickly and then come help. That's probably the best option. We can create another army. They're in trouble. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't think we should invade them again. That was a failed attempt. We could build a new army here and then invade with two armies. That would be safer. Uh, but this army is completely worthless. It's not built well. We could summon He Yi on the field with the, our cash supply. Actually, why don't we do that? I kind of want to see him do some fighting for us. There he is. And then He Man. Uh, let me check if he's any good. They do have that one guy who is burnt. Who I'm going to put into this army actually. A little selfish, but I want a full stack of burnt officers. Walking around. Um, I believe his name was Ping Chu. Yep. We'll get rid of his retinues. So now we have full Burin buff in this entire. We have four Burin officers here, including Huang Shao. That's 120 extra ammo for us. And minus. What? Minus what? No, minus 120 for them. Plus 60 for us. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, against most non... Uh, I mean, I guess if you have like... In this case, if you're fighting someone with 87 cunning, then they're going to still have 132% minus 120. Still have 12% ammo bonus on the units. So they're not going to completely have no ammo, right? If the cunning is lower than 20%, then they're going to have no ammo. But in our case, it's not that bad. Uh, what should we do with the army though? Gotta take a look at their skill tree. Hmm, feels like he's still... Well, he has a very interesting skill tree. He's still a range comp, right? Precision plus focus. No fire arrows, but that's fine. Recovery is really good. I wish we could redo his skills. There's, I, like We don't need integrity on him. Let's see over here. His army comp should be... I'm guessing melee? He has reach. Okay, he's a good leader position. Armor piercing. So definitely melee comp. Yosha maybe would be quite good on him. Uh, we don't need archers on him. Let's drop these guys. Drop these guys. Drop this guy. Mm, probably going range comp on him, so we're gonna drop his units as well. And we're gonna match them up with one veteran. Oh yeah, we were looking at their veterans. That's what we're doing. The veterans that came with them. Sima Wei. Nah, he's not any good. We'll pick one of our veterans then. Yeah, he's good. Resourcefulness. Two levels away. He's also decent. He's decent if we want to run a range comp. And he's um, not him. Um, he's good if we want to run a melee comp. Melee comp, like reclaimers. Actually, you can still do range comp. Just a little bit of different order. I like him better. We'll give Taishu, Taishu Shen over to them. There we go. 
Alright, we'll put our gold to good use. Summon the army. Okay, I think we're good everywhere. We're going to end turn and uh, see what happens at the beginning of next turn. Decide. Um, probably we're going to end our episode there, but we'll decide what to do next. Alright, Han Sui wants peace with us, but he's not willing to pay anything for us, so we're going to say no. Alright, Zhang Jiang signed a peace treaty with the Han Empire. Sure thing. Vassalized by the Kingdom of Zhou. Interesting. They got vassalized by Zhou instead of Yan. Drill Master starting. Oh, perfect timing. Okay, so here's the development. We're going to end our episode, but this is what's going to happen. Sun Ce is marching against Donghai. So we can either buy some time with this group right here against this army. Because we do have a city garrison. So we could hold off uh, against them for a little bit. And this army can retake the fishing port at the same time. This maximizes our efficiency. Meanwhile, over here, this is no joke. Um, Xu Huang's right here, ambush mode right here. Two additional armies have poured in. So there's th three Cao Cao armies in between us. Our ambush, despite being 80%, is just not triggering. Um, this army, I don't think they have night battle, which is a big issue. So what we could do is we could walk this way to trigger the ambush on purpose and fight that fight in an ambush fight with the bonuses. Because the other issue is the bonuses are in the temple county and not in the commandery county. The border is a little weird. We could have them loop into the city and then we just attack down. That might work. And then just fight 1v2, basically. One army against two with range bonuses. That might be better than fighting the ambush fight. Because if you think about it, these two armies have three strategists and three champions. Not very balanced. And if we can reduce most of their range unit to just a few ammo, then we can definitely win this fight. Because we can drop their ammo count even more once we move all four of these generals into this county. So uh, that's the development. Uh, Yuan Shao's army pulled away, uh, which is nice. So we can just kind of hold uh, this area right here with this army. And then we can pull this army back as well into a defensive position here. So we're kind of holding defensive posture in the north. And then we're going to try to regroup down here. We can pull them into Pengcheng to recruit. It'd be cheaper because we have the headquarters. So that's going to be what we're going to do next episode as we face down on three armies from Cao Cao and one big army from Sun Ce, the emperor of kingdom of Wu. So we're going to pick it up from here next time. See you guys then. Bye.